So the, uh, the, the thing is that um, for three months, we have money out and nothing coming back in. So, you know, I, I guess it all depends upon how you categorize the, uh, the money out. It's not, a, it's not an income and expense line item. It's more of a balance sheet line item. Maybe that's how you, uh, you know, are able to get around the profit. The, uh, never always making a profit on day one from your business. Maybe that's how you do it. But you can't, that uh, income and expense, uh, th that um, uh, application fee for the, for the mortgage, that's an expense. You're not getting that back unless you close. If you don't close, yep. you don't get that money back. So there, there, that's, that's what I mean by it. Awesome. Well, now that just helps me know what, what yeah. frame of mind you're coming from that because the system, even for this, the whole point of it is when you have the money come back in, what are you doing with it? You can, you can set up the accounts to invest in anything. We have people that come to us in the hole, like they're fixing their hits. It's worse than that situation. It's like, they're not just investing for like a risk, you know, that they might get it back. Like they've lost money. They've actually physically lost six figures or more, yeah. you know? And yeah. it's like, well, they come to us, we implement it. And now they're forced to think about the profitability yeah. in this situation. It would be like, okay, do you have money to invest in this type of deal? And do you still have reserves? Do you, are you still thinking about, the profitability of whatever else you're doing. Do you still have something to fall back on? And if you have money in an account specifically for that, then do it. If that is what yeah. you want to yeah. do with the money, then if you get the money back, then it's time to divvy it out and make sure you are profitable, you, you're taken care of, and then whatever expenses that you're paying that with. But I think that's more of the, the framework I would come from it, from that mindset. You know, I tell you, the thing that he talks about is, uh, you know, when you're around, when you're hanging around with a bunch of other, other entrepreneurs and you're asking, hey, how's it going? Oh, it's going great. We're making money. We're doing this. You know, I know. And then, but are they really? And do they really know if they are? And do they really break it down? You're like, I wonder how many people uh, in the fix and flip business never make money. Oh, they're yeah. You know, they're just, they don't watch the bottom line. To exactly. see they're really profiting at all from it. Well, we work uh, with know. we work with them all the time. We get to see the back end yeah. with our fractional how CFO. How, how bad? Thing. How bad, David? How bad? Honestly, I would say when people come to us, it's probably a, a high number, like eighty percent. Wow. Are not are not making money, or the big kicker is they might be making money, but they have no idea. Like there's no tracking. There's nothing to give them any data to be able yeah. to to know if they're making money. So then we go in there. What we usually do is like, okay, let's get it at least to square zero, you know, or square one yeah. of like, okay, then it's usually, well, no, you actually, you've got a healthy like top line here, but that you're making, but it is all going out the door. Oh, so like, out, let's, yeah. what can we do? Or some people, not a healthy top line. They thought they were making all this money, but then you really show them what they're making on their per property. It's like, it's nowhere near. You thought you were making 20 to 30 grand. Well, it turns out it's six. You know, it's like yeah, you got to really yeah. know what's going on. But I had a, I had a, um, an interesting, I got, just got my taxes back and I, I have a tax attorney uh, that, that uh, sets me up. And uh, I had a pretty good year last year. I'll tell you, I had a pretty good year. Awesome. And then I like, I looked at how much, I, and then she showed me how much I made. I'm like, and my first reaction was like, darn it. You know, I, that's, that's, I made that kind of money. And uh, it was a small money, a small amount. And I was like, I wanted to get it to zero. I don't want to pay the IRS anything. I don't yeah. want. To, I want to set, structure everything so that I don't owe the IRS a freaking dime. Uh, so it was. It's there was a time in my life, David, when I wanted to make a, a, as much money as I possibly can. And now I'm at the stage of my life where I don't want to make a dime. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make a dime. You know, that's 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 where I am. But hey, that's you know fortunate for me. But that's the way you know with you know the benefits I'm able to take take advantage of of depreciation and uh, all that other stuff. Um, exactly. Uh, yeah, that's that's fun. But uh, like you said, you got to run the business the right way. You have to know what you're making. And, exactly. You know, that's so. How do you work with with you know obviously. You know, I think you got a great book. You got a great mentor with uh, with Mike. Uh, I love the stuff that he taught. It's, I mean, I teach people. Whoops, I teach people how to build a multifamily investing business, and part of it is that you you got to run it like a business. Mm -hmm. And for that, you got to know the numbers. Yeah. You got to know the numbers. So, 
if somebody comes to you, let's say, let's start with just the easy, the fix and flip person. What do you do for them? Or as a fractional CFO, most people say, what the heck is that first? Yeah, yeah. It's a, part, so it's a part-time, part-time chief financial officer. That's what it stands for, where we work with a lot of people that are too small not to have a to have a, C, a full-time CFO on their staff, but too large not to have someone actually looking at the numbers and talking about it actively with them. So that's what we do. We go in there first where a lot of people have the transactional relationships pretty much nailed down. Like I've got a bookkeeper to handle the transactions. I don't ever speak to them. I don't know what's going on, but they're doing their thing. And then the CPA, I want to meet with them one time a year and don't want to like even think about taxes or whatever. That's what most people that we work with, they come to us as. And then a CFO, we're relational. We talk, we say, what is your business doing? Like, what is the financial business strategy? Like, like I asked you the question about the framework you thought about profit first and how that wouldn't work. That's the kind of questions that we're asking the owners. Like, what do you feel about money? What are you thinking about money? Like, how can we help you get from where you really are right now to where you want to be helping with your cash flow, you know, like implementing profit first and helping you actually focus on the cash profitability of your business, because that's where even what you were saying, like, I don't want to show the IRS on my profit and loss that I'm making money, but I want my cash to flow. Like I want the cash flow there and I want to get that in place. So helping even fix the flippers or, you know, buy and hold multifamily. But then one of the first things we do with everyone is we assess. We assess their business, we assess their team, we assess their cash flow. Do you have the right people in the right seat from the financial aspect? Do you have the right you know, systems in place to give you easy numbers? And then do you have you know, the actual cash to be able to support your lifestyle, your needs, what you want to do with your business? So that's really what we focus on with our business. Give me an example of what you mean by assessing the team. So usually people have a bookkeeper and CPA. So we're meeting with the bookkeeper. Are they competent? Do they know how to enter transactions? Because real estate is one of the funnest ones to actually enter transactions. So do you have the right bookkeeper in place to get us the numbers and the data that we need in order to analyze with you, to do projections, to do these types of things that are going to help you? Then also assessing usually their CPA. Is this a CPA that really cares about you that will, if you're not meeting with them quarterly, will meet with you quarterly to do tax planning and preparation. So it's like in your case to get that down to zero as much as humanly possible on the profit and loss. So maybe just basically assessing that team from that perspective. Do you have those right key players in place to help save you money and to give us the numbers to have high level meetings with each other?